So friends, today we are going to talk about one stock related to Tata Group, which has gone up a lot in recent time and also fallen. And this is one of the favorite stock among the chemical industry. Yes, we are going to talk about Tata Chemicals. Tata Chemical, you see, it has a big rally a few days ago and then it has fallen. We are going to talk about why it has fallen and what was the reason behind that. And of course, before that, why it has gone up. So this is a, a stock review was asked by Raju Mohan. Uh, the Raju Mohan and Arjun Srivastava. So, guys, these guys have asked uh, about this stock review. So, we are going to talk in detail about that and we'll talk about the future prospects of uh, Tata Chemicals, whether you should stay invested or sell, whatever it is. I'm going to talk about that also. And, guys, if you want any stock to be reviewed from myself, put it in the comment box. I'll try to cover it next time. So let us talk about uh, Tata Chemicals in detail. Before that, let us understand the stock price. How was the movement? So talking about uh, stock price, guys, if you see Tata Chemicals, actually, uh, overall, it has not gone up in recent time. Uh, but then if you see in last, uh, you can say about in of almost in Feb 29th February, you know, it was around 939. Suddenly, within a span of few days, the stock has gone almost 117, not 1175, but almost 1315, almost 30 percent, more than 30 percent jump came within two days. The reason was that there was a news that Tata Sun is coming with an IPO. And because of that, uh, no, Tata Chemicals is having a part in Tata Sun IPO. That's why it has gone up. We are going to talk in detail about that. Then the news came, okay, Tata Sun is not going to come with the IPO. Uh, and that's why the stock almost fallen again by almost 20%, gone to almost 1,097. Again, it has gone to almost 1,128. So a big volatility. But if you see in last three years, the stock has not performed at all. Okay, agar aap paanch saal ka bhi data dekhoge, it is there in the range from 2021. Okay, it has not gone up a lot. And why it is happening like this? Let us talk in detail. So first, what we'll do, we'll understand now why this stock and uh, what was the reason that there was a big jump in the stock price. So talking about that in detail, guys, as I told you that. Uh, Earlier than almost three years back, RBI told that Tata Sun is an upper layer NBFC. Okay, they you know uh, Tata uh, Suns is having a lot of stake in various group companies, and that is why it's uh, been termed as an upper layer uh, NBFC. And uh, basically, RBI told that they have to come mandatory IPO within three years. That is September 2022. So maybe by September 2024, uh, uh, there is an end date. However, uh, Tata Sun is saying that we are not going to come with an IPO. They are asking, uh, so they are actually are approaching RBI for the exemption from an upper layer NBC, NBFC rules. They don't want to come with an IPO and the probability of IPO will be low. However, one of uh, uh, leading broking house, you know, they declare that, okay, and one of the publisher told that, no, Tata Sun is coming with an IPO. And that was one of the reasons. Now, if you talk about if there is an, uh, basically what is happening, Tata Chemical is having a share in Tata Sun IPO, which is almost 2.5%. Okay. Now, Tata Sun uh, Chemical is having this share from long time, years together, decades together. Somehow they are not getting a route to unlock this. Okay. Now, if IPO is not come on, coming, then the, they will not be able to unlock it again. TC held the stake of more than 25 years without any visible attempt to Tata Group to execute the buyback. So Tata Group is also not doing a buyback, and that's why no, it is lying there for a long time. Again, still should be uh, stake sales should be treated in optionality rather than a part of core valuation of TCL. So now I I'll tell you why there's a big jump. Now, if you see. Tata Asan has an investment of no, basically he, they owns almost seventy two percent of TCS. Tata C around thirty two percent. Tata Motors around forty four. Tata Power almost forty seven. Ten thirty two. India Nortas thirty six. Overall is around if you take all the listed companies around sixteen lakh rupees crore rupees. Again in Tata Motors it is three percent. However Tata Chemical it is three percent shown here, but it is around two point five percent. Okay, that is, we are talking about the March 2023 holding. Okay, so around 16 lakh is the valuation total what the Tata Sun is having. Now, when we talk about uh, Tata, sorry, uh, by mistake, by mistake, I told you here, here actually the 3% Tata Chemical is having a shareholding in Tata Suns. Okay, so 
थ्री पर टू एंड हाफ परसेंट बेसिकली इज हैविंग टाटा केमिकल शेयर इन द टाटा सन्स सो नाउ व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट सिमिलरली टाटा मोटर इज हैविंग अ ऑलमोस्ट थ्री परसेंट शेयर इन टाटा सन्स इमे टाटा पावर टू परसेंट इंडिया होटल वन परसेंट ओके बट हाउ एवर मेजर इज डोवर जी टाटा ट्रस्ट इज ट्वेंटी रतन टाटा ट्रस्ट ट्वेंटी एंड साइरस इन्वेस्टमेंट इज ऑलमोस्ट नाइन Now, when we talk about this two and half percent ratio, uh, the holding. Now, if you talk about two and half percent, the total market cap. Now, it is shown here thirty-three thousand crore rupees. That is after the stock gone up. Currently, it is around twenty-eight thousand crore rupees, and the value of stake in that uh, almost sixteen lakh rupees is almost coming twenty percent. If we are talking twenty-eight lakh rupees, it is coming seven to eighty percent of their market cap. Okay, now. If the Tata Chemical uh, unlocking of Tata Sun IPO will give them twenty thousand crore rupees, that is almost seventy to eighty percent of their total market cap. Currently, it is around twenty eight thousand crore rupees. So, do you think about it, guys? Where the stock is heading, and that is why there was a big jump in the stock prices. However, that was denied, and as a result, there was a fall in the stock price. Okay, so this was the main reason why the stock price fall. And however. It has been said that this uh, Tata Sun will take time. They are not coming, so go up or go down. Now let us talk about Tata Chemical in detail. Shall we invest at this level? Okay, now this news is gone. Now what is the uh, now probability that with this stock price will go up or not? Now if you talk about Tata uh, Chemical facility, their major product is soda ash, uh, bicar, salt, marine chemical, and cement. Again, installed capacity of almost one of one zero nine one triple zero NTPA of soda cash bicarb is one lakh fifty thousand NTPA. Okay, and these are main location Gujarat, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, and Gujarat. And these are some of the pictures of that. Again, rail rallies India is basically one of the you no know, sister concern of this Tata Chemicals only. Again, expansion they are doing. So soda ash capacity is around two point three lakh metric ton. In financial at twenty three point forty five, this is their expansion. They are doing an H two twenty four. It will be one point eight five metric ton. Okay, and these are some of the uh, you can say expansion plan going on. Everything. However, the main thing is how is the performance. Now, if you see the performance of a company, okay. So let me uh, show you the screener. So talking about the uh, performance, guys. If you see last few quarters, okay, last few quarters the stock actually, you know, December twenty twenty three was the one of the worst hit for Tata Chemicals. Most of the chemical industry has not done great. Overall, if you see, you no, know, it has not done a great job in last one year. It is not like six eighty, then March twenty twenty six ninety two, and now it is go falling only. You know, this quarter was very very bad. Even if you talk talk about year to year comparison, also there is. Lot of volatility. However, March twenty twenty was almost seven thousand twenty twenty eight. However, there was an other income of almost six three three six as an other income. That's why it has gone up. But overall, if you see, there is not a big jump coming in Tata Chemicals uh, profitability over the years, and that is one of the reason. Even this year, the last twelve uh, twelve months, it is one nine six eight like uh, crore rupees. Now, if we compare it. Okay, let us see the component sales growth. Last three years it is seventeen percent. This year it is almost last twelve months it is three percent only. Component of profit growth is negative. This is one of the reason now why this stock price is not going so up. However, in last one year there is a seven percent percent going. If you talk about ten years it is almost twenty five percent CAGR return. ROE is twelve, not so great. Uh, in last three years it is eight only. Now, when we compare Tata Chemical with other companies, no guys, you understand that Tata Chemical P ratio is sixteen point five nine, which is on the lower side. यानी इतना ज़्यादा नहीं है. That that is a good sign overall. Okay, but however, if you see the five-year sales, the five-year return is thirty-three percent. But when we talk about five-year sales variance is ten percent. Okay, and when we talk about ROE is almost twelve percent, ROC is almost twelve percent. However, other companies you see, uh, PD Light, SRF, Lindy, you know they are having a much much better ROE, ROC against that. Okay, again, if you talk about sales growth, okay, if you talk about sales growth, it is almost I know you can see here, 
three, okay, which is this year. For last three years, it is almost 70% profit growth. In last three years, it's 30% down. And how other chemical companies are doing much, much better. Now, this is where, this is why the company is getting a lesser PE ratio. Why it is giving 60? Because market is not giving more premium to the uh, Tata chemicals. Now you may say, Tapan, abhi nahi diya, kya future mein denge? Now, so for that, no, let us understand the outlook of a Tata chemical. How is the outlook looking from here? So after this result, no, let us understand the outlook. So talking about the outlook, guys, demand outlook, if you talk about market demand remains stabil across all key regions and segments, the current demand supply situation is likely to persist for short to medium term. Yani itni achhi demand nahi hai. Outlook bhi dekhenge, if we see their management commentary also, it shows that yes, there is not a such uh, great demand happening currently across key regions and segments. Even India business is expected to stable to slightly better for and a sequential basis, the new Sevda Ash plant that is 250 MPTA is actually commissioned by May 24, which I already spoken about. So total capacity will be one MTPA basically. Again, uh, if you talk of other outlook, US volumes are lower by 80,000 metric and due to plant shutdown deal. Uh, so that the Maha Kafi problem we think. while export countries and sharp erosion, the contribution is contributed towards around 100, USD 100. Uh, in the next coming quarter. Again, there are certain short-term uh, challenge in soda, uh, ash, demand and supply owning to weak demand in Western Europe and major Turkey. Exporting soda ash beyond Europe is happening due to uh, global prices uh, no fluctuation. So demand coffee come here across the globe, uh, especially in Europe and also in Turkey said, and, and that is what is creating a problem. Also, there are certain short-term challenge in the soda demand supply due to weak demand. So that we already saw. However, the situation actually to balance out in medium term with the emergence of new applications such as solar glass and ethereum EN batteries. But it will take time. Aisa nahi ke tura ki tura problem solve hone wali hai. Okay, that is the problem. Again, there is an unfavorable demand supply person in global soda ash industry, which is there one of the main product and continue price pressure across region. Even if you talk about next three years also, guys, there will be a margin drop in the soda ash uh, segment. And this is going to hurt chemical stocks or sorry, especially Tata chemical. So when I when we talk about Tata chemical scenario, guys, the thing is that demand is not looking great for next few years. Even the management commentary and whatever outlook we say, the demand is not looking good. And that is where there is a bigger problem. Because if demand is not looking good, then what will happen? The EPS will not grow. So even if we take uh, around 10 to 11 percent growth also in next two uh, next two years also, the EPS may be negative for the next month. Uh, sorry, next year also, maybe or stable or negative. Uh, means growth wise, I'm talking about. Again, it will be a uh, good jump after one or one and a half years. There may be a good jump. But as a as a uh, investor, should you invest at around this level, which is under 1100 something, then I think that everything is priced in. This stock price has gone up because of the Tata Sun's IPO coming. That was a uh, thing going on across uh, the market. And that's why it has gone up. You know, of course, 20,000 for rupees stake. But this is not clear whether it is coming. So then I think the stock is not getting, uh, I think as an investor, we are not getting too much in this stock. However, all these things I am telling you guys, you have to follow my advisor. Please ask your financial advisor, then only invest because this is all for education purpose. But yes, the valuation looks, uh, no, it's I think the uh, room is left from very less from here. So that you have to keep in mind. So guys, hope you like this video and hope you understood now how to analyze the stock. Guys, if you really want to learn how to analyze this type of stock, the link is given below for uh, no, uh, our, we are doing some uh, uh, basically fundamental classes about no, how to uh, understand the stock, how to do a stock analysis and how to create a great portfolio over the time during the weekdays you can click the below link and attend that session it will be a very very insightful session and do write what do you think about this video what you learned and also if you want any stock to be analyzed from my side 
put it in the comment box and i'll try to cover it in next video so thank you very much for joining guys have a great day and i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye